bro. Leave the Chicago niggas alone, bro. Leave the Chicago niggas alone. That's the moral, <laughs> moral of the story. But um, oh, yeah, rest, rest in peace, rest in peace. Keep they can't stand the facts. No. A lot of the insane. They can't stand this rap. I'm so oh. buffalo, like I'm bandana black. But from the 716, we determine and we discipline. Oh, that's your man. Better get him for you missing that. What's going on? Is DJ Bandana Black, Mr. Well Connected, even more respected, Mr. Hashtag I am Buffalo. Listen, do your homework. Do your homework on. I just popped back up on, on YouTube like I ain't dropped a video in like six months and like y'all like y'all y'all supposed to just forgive that though like do, do your homework on being in a black man missing for like six months and they can just pop up and just talk about current topics though but no nah, shout out to the homie uh, FYBJ main what I want to start doing is um every video how how it used to be like the funny intros and shit like that mm -hmm. on the videos where I don't do the funny intros I want to start doing something positive whether it's like shouting out another YouTuber or shouting out another content creator yeah. or something like that but I definitely be checking out um FYBJ main uh shout out to uh, uh Aunt Glizzy too Barbara's son Aunt Glizzy yo this is wild out wild out there though but we got the homie spills in the building what's going on with you bro I can't call them how you living man <laughs> cool and cool I had to pull up pull, pull up pull up on the homie yes, sir. spills yes, sir. I know y'all probably seen it. we we at probably almost like nine million views on the channel right now so I know at least, million. at least at least <laughs> eight million of y'all seen him on the intro intro of the videos out of nine million at least eight million of y'all seen him on the is intro that, is that much it gotta be at least that much Gosh. It gotta, out of the nine million y'all at least be eight million, eight million shout out to you though because you could have done it without you though definitely appreciate that you know what I mean how many times people hop in the comments and shit like that and be, and be quoting like a little intro and shit. No, right? I see it all. I really do. I, I, I want to say this before we even start this video, right? I know I've been missing for a while. Um, I, I've been real healthy, doing my, my, my healthy kicking like that. I, slim I wanna, Dana. Yeah, slim, slim Dana. DJ Slim Dana. I want to say that to say this. Like, I've been drinking a little bit right now. We're drinking the... Um, mm -hmm. What is this called? Yeah, 18, 1800. Yeah, dark 1800. I guess there's a difference between the dark and the light. Yeah, you know, yeah. I ain't drinking so long. I don't know what the cool thing is to drink, but we drink 1800. But I want to say that what I'm about to say is not because of the alcohol. I feel like this, even if I wasn't drinking alcohol, I just want to say that up front. Um, how do we put this, right? So over the last couple of weeks, there's been a lot of a uh, lot of news clippings going on. A lot of um, a lot of I say expo. It's been a lot of shit on some, some Chicago <laughs> artists. Like listen, nigga, I say, what's going on out there? We do a good get to the we do get to the point, man. Listen, man, I see a nigga King Von blow a kiss to a nigga, telling me he was gonna fuck him. Now before y'all get in the comments and tell me that. Um, there's a reason why he did this. Then you want me to just play the clip real quick? We're gonna play it real quick. Bye. They got a problem with me. I don't never start nothing. Bye, little Josh. I'm gonna fuck you too. They got a problem with me. I don't never start nothing. Bye, little Josh. I'm gonna fuck you too. They got a problem with me. I don't never start nothing. Bye, little Josh. I'm gonna fuck you too. All right, so y'all just seen the same thing that I just seen, right? So it's not, it's not like say, say, say right now it feels like you know what, fuck you, and just punch me in the face, right? It's nobody that can say like yo. I feel like Spills punched him in the face, it or fake. like it, it was fake, or it was yeah. a, he punched. You seen him punch me in the face? I seen King Von blow a kiss to somebody and say, "Put me in." He said, "I'm gay." I seen King Von himself say, "I'm gay," and and do all that. My, so I seen it myself. So and I'm just saying, like, because there's nothing that you can tell me of a reason of why he did that besides the fact that he he. I don't know. Maybe he was just trying to convince the police. He was trying to convince so the he police. could go to where he wanna go, cause he not with it, you know what I mean? So he know where he's he looking at it probably like he's smartest. He looking, okay, boom, I know what I gotta tell these motherfuckers. Yeah. In jail, you know, I did six years in jail, so yeah. in jail you gotta say what you gotta say to get the fuck you wanna get in. Maybe he just said it like that, or maybe not. Who knows? You know yeah. what I mean? But he may be the but let me ask you something. Like what is the term because you know I'm Uncle Little Old, what is the term like on site mean? On site, me anywhere, anytime. <laughs> yeah, no, nah, I mean anywhere, anywhere right? So, yeah, like, I mean, yeah. Like walk down, me like you walk down on somebody, like you ain't afraid of shit, like you walk down on niggas, yeah, like nah, nah. ops and shit like that. Yeah. So if you in a a, a prison setting, <laughs> no, sure. if you want to, if you want to, because I never been to prison, I only I did a one to three okay. days in, in jail. <laughs> I, I still count it. I only did a one to three in the county. I think he was in the county it's jail well, too. So okay. I, I I never been there before like that, but. I would think that on site would still mean like nah, on site. Nah, nah, that's what that means. So, was he saying that to go somewhere? Or I don't he, know. Or was he saying I that? I can't say it. What he was saying? Was he All saying? I can do is, you know, you, 
maybe look out for him is the, the, I try to understand the, a different aspect of it, but. The reason, the reason why, I, honestly speaking, I just want to say this. I'm, I'm being funny with it on, on, on an aspect. I understand that either the reason for it was he either wanted to go to PC for because sure. he was ducking beef or he wanted to go to PC because he wanted to be with the people that was in PC. For sure. Who are the people that's in PC? It's usually gay people, people that's like snitching on people. People you don't want to be in PC with, but it's better than the people <laughs> who you don't want to fight. But if you're a person that stands on on site, on being, I'm saying, I, I see a nigga that's on site, I'm going to do this. When he's seen... Quan, rest in peace, but when he seen Quan Miranda was on site. So I don't think that if we call, if y'all calling, we, the next subject, right? So we'll, we'll, we'll tie them together. Next subject is King Little J, another artist from Chicago, right? Artist from Chicago, King Little J. It just came out the other day. There was video footage. Nobody said anything. Nobody said, hey, um, I feel like King Little J is this. Back when they had the rumors and said all that, I never reported on him, but I seen a video of King Little J. <laughs> he said, I seen, <laughs> I seen a video. Eyes. Do, do your homework on King Little J playing Santa Claus in jail, though. Do your homework on King, King Little J playing Santa Claus in jail. Wait, like, doing, he had a, a guy sitting on his lap playing Santa Claus. Oh, it, was yeah. a, it was like a guy that was like a girl. like a, and, then they, and then you said they said, what? He... So he, it was a video of King Little J in, in, in jail like that. Then it was a guy... <laughs> That's like a that identifies as whatever sat on King Little J lap, and then he like it was it was it was some inappropriate straight activity going. It was inappropriate straight act, inappropriate activity for being straight going on in a video with like that. So then somebody got in the comments like you know I, I'm not, I haven't really been big on YouTube in the last six, six months. I was reading the comments just like that, watching a couple of joints, and I, it might have been FYB J main video, and somebody was like, um, "That's not really gay. That's only jail gay." And then I thought about it, and I was like, the same thing with the King Von shit. Like, how, how do you how do you just distinguish it? But then I thought about it, it's like, hold on, King Little J from Chicago, look, uh, King Von from Chicago, and then I remember um, Rico Reckless. He had did an interview. He was saying like how in jail in Chicago. Which I'm not being funny. This is from the interview that you guys put out that I just watched. It was like, yo, if you gangster and you in jail, like sometimes you get into a fight. You would knock a nigga out, and then they was like, you, you like spitting his butt, or you something with the guy's butt, and they was like, that's still gangster. You can still be gangster if you do that to another guy. Like you, you put it, you, whatever you do with the guy, and he's exposed. It would still be gangster in a Chicago jail. When you get out, you still gangster. But it was like with the King Little J shit, it kind of made sense because it's like. If that wasn't gay for you to do that to a guy, I mean, the guy sitting on his lap it might not yeah. have been that bad according yeah, to those yeah, standards. Yeah, they, but you know, they, 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 they're, they're not from Buffalo. Yeah, they're not from Buffalo. And I think I think that the, the the number one rule that we can learn from this, you know, like I always say when we do these videos, I always try to um, I always try to have something that we can that we can learn from. Uh, hang on one second. I want to make sure that we're still recording, but I, that we can learn from the video. I think that we can learn from the video is that. Stop playing with the Chicago niggas, bro. Like, you can't trust the Chicago niggas. Like, any nigga that, uh, that'll kill you and blow you a kiss, bro. Like, a nigga <laughs> blew him. Like, I'm not saying he a bitch. Nigga really can't. Like, King Von really believe he's like That's that. some disrespectful but, ass shit. That's the, I feel it's just. <laughs> and, and, yeah, it's, yeah, it's both. It, yeah. it, it, it is some disrespectful shit, but, bro, like, he he may take her to the O, bro. Like, you can't say make, take her to the O and... Do all these songs about on site and telling all these youth that it should be on site. Niggas listen to King Von think that it should be on site. Like yeah. when you in jail, anywhere you should be on site. He ain't do that shit. Yeah. When he yeah. was in that particular situation, nah, he ain't do you. that shit. I got you. I got you. He decided to do whatever he wanted to do to go on PC. Now, can I judge him for that? No, because I probably wouldn't. I wouldn't said I was gay. I probably would have said I was a racism shit. So I'm not saying <laughs> I'm gay, bro. Like that, that's the moral of the story. That's what two things we gotta learn from this. Stop playing with the Chicago niggas and gay should never be your first choice of getting out of a fight. Like, you think Crip Mac can do that? On 55th Street, you think Crip Mac can do that? No. <laughs> you think Crip I'm gay. I, put me in PC. No, you gotta take your hey, fame, nigga. You, you, you signed up. You, <laughs> no, I'm just, just being, you gotta be real with you, bro. You gotta be nah, real with you. But I I'm being funny and I'm being serious at the same time, though, because at the end of the day, people do look up to King Von. People do listen for to sure. him. They really do take it for granted. Like, sure. they listen to him. Like, he really like that. And not saying that he wasn't like that, but. For sure. You can't be like that and let video footage like that. And by the way, when I brought up the, the King Vi and the King the the, the, the the King Little J thing, I'm not putting them in the same class. I know, I ain't even gonna say I know. I hope, I don't believe that King Vi was gay. I don't believe that he was gay. I believe that he was just doing that to duck some beef. Sure. I seen uh, two guys that was born the same way with each other in that video with King yeah. Little J. I don't give a fuck what y'all niggas tell me. <laughs> that was King Little 
Gay, gay, gay jail, jail <laughs> gay, straight, gay, straight gay, like, outside gay, gangster gay, nigga. You do any of those type of activities, it, it's just gay. You, you, but you, it's just gay. Nothing wrong with that, but you gotta identify with that or they or whatever it is. But anyway, y'all gotta leave the Chicago niggas alone because, bro, like, they, like a nigga, you never know what this. Like, I, if I was beefing with King Von, I wouldn't really like. I'd be confused as shit. I'm going to a jail. This nigga just blew a kiss to me, and I know you a killer, like. <laughs> Fuck, like, is it cool? Like, there's is no problems? Like, you can't trust some shit like that. And then, if you don't trust it, a nigga could knock you out and do the whole you know what I'm saying? The shit they said is not gay. Like, it's, bro, leave the Chicago niggas alone, bro. Leave the Chicago niggas alone. That's the world, world of the story. But, um, yeah, rest, rest, in peace, rest in peace, King Bob. I just found that interesting. But also, in the rest of that video, they didn't show, um, I guess it was more to that video footage where he actually didn't end up in protective custody. I guess okay. he was really just bullshit. Like when I seen that, I knew what he was doing. It was he was trying to finesse yeah, his way out of a situation. Way. Yeah, for sure. And that's I, what I see. Yeah, I see that, but I kind of don't respect it only yeah. because but, the youth is seeing that you know, too. And that's not what you was. You didn't say it's on site unless it's five of them and it's one of me, and I might lose. So I need to say something to get out of a situation, which that's, that's a smart thing to do. But sure. DJ Bandana Black, Mr. I Am Buffalo, shout out to the homie Spills. We out. They can't stand the facts. No. A lot of the insane, they can't stand his rap. I'm so oh. buffalo like I'm bandana black. But from the 716, we determine and we discipline. Oh, that's your man. Better get him for you missing.